we always had this idea of doing um, the Pride of Reading Awards because of the Pride of Britain Awards and we'd seen um, how wonderful they were and I think we all know, um, the people of Reading know that Reading is a very, very special place and we have an awful lot of people um, doing extraordinary things. It's like when David Cameron started talking about the big society and we said well we've been doing that in Reading for years. It's always been like that. So that's exactly why we did it and we're nine years in and we know that we are going to get the same quality of winners that we've had in the, in the last eight years. It is one of the most satisfying, most interesting, um, worthy events that take place in the Reading calendar. It's been now going for nine years and it just gets better and better and better. I think anything that sort of highlights the unsung heroes of Reading is a tremendous thing and it's such a positive event that Reading Football Club 107 and everybody else is so pleased to be involved with it because it's just such a positive event. Absolutely amazing to be part of it. I, I, I feel like one day they're not going to ask me anymore and then uh, I'll just be sat, sat, stood at the back like, hello, me again. But no, it's great. Um, you know, there's, there's so many great things that happen in this community and, 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 and we get to pick up on that and, uh, you know, kids and, and soldiers and, and just, you know, the things that we'd never hear about or read about in the paper. We really do kind of try and make a big, a big thing of. This year, one of the new awards that we have is the Chris Tarrant Pride of Reading Award and I think Chris sort of saw all these amazing people winning these, the Pride of Reading Awards and was delighted to hand them out but sometimes um, there were people that you know you just felt needed to, you, to give more so Chris has his own Chris Tarrant Pride of Reading Award and it's for people in Reading who have done exceptional things. I just wanted to do an award that was that was mine if you like that I actually had control of so you know, I'm not control freak, but I wanted one that was sort of special to me. So I really knew every aspect of why this person deserves this award. So, you know, it could be an exceptional kid. It could be a, a truly wonderful mum. It could be it could be an amazing doctor. It could be, you know, a brilliant inventor. It could well be, because I'm very, you know, I have a real sort of leaning towards that. It could well be an exceptional serving soldier or, or, or serving service man or woman. Uh, because obviously, particularly with Afghanistan and so many lads from Reading going out to fight in that horrific part of the world, every year we recognise them. Um, and I think people in recent years, because of Afghanistan and everything that's been happening, are more and more aware of that. So it might be, you know, to a serving soldier who's, who's done something particularly heroic. But we didn't want to limit to that. We just wanted to say the Chris Tarrant Award will go to someone extra special, even in a room full of very special people. I'm always amazed at how interested he is in, in the people who've won. And it's totally genuine because they're Reading people and he is a Reading boy. And he makes he puts people at their ease. And if you look at the photographs afterwards, he puts his arm around people. He makes people feel comfortable. And, you know, that is part of winning a Pride of Reading Award, that, that you come up on stage and you, you, you have a photograph with Chris, and it's genuine warmth you get from him absolutely every time with every winner.